All right, welcome back to the finals of the third week. And today is going to be a really special match. Um, I'd briefly mentioned about this in the last video, but my current opponent today is Sanoku uh, from the guild uh, Dark Lords of Droxene. Um, pretty decent uh, lifetime ban is 250k. And uh, Sanoku reached out to me actually a few days ago, three or four days back, uh, saying that he follows my channel and videos. And, uh, and I asked him if he was open to doing something interesting, uh, something, uh, some theme. So he was uh, more than enthusiastic about that. So we decided to do a, a collaborative theme for this uh, GAC. It's going to be the very first time that I'm doing a theme for 3v3. So it's going to be pretty special. So we floated a few ideas around. We uh, thought we'd do an all light side defense, dark side offense, or vice versa. We thought of going leaderless. We thought of a few other different options, but ultimately we settled on um, the, the, the light side, dark side, uh, balance, uh, offense, and defense. Um, basically, odd man out. That's that's the uh, the theme, and this is what uh, what it's going to look like. So, what we decided to do was we each decided to keep for on both offense and defense. We wanted to keep uh, two light side, one dark side, or two dark side and one light side character on offense and defense. Um, so that's something which is going to force us to go outside of faction synergy. So teams like Sith Empire or 501st, which use all three together, even Geos and Night Sisters, for example, we would be forced to split them up because you'll have one from a different alignment in the uh, in our offensive and defensive team. So it makes it tougher for both uh, them and me to, uh, to get this done. One thing we decided was, given that we're going with a theme, no Galactic Legends on defense. So he's got an ultimate, uh, he's got a uh, SLKR, no ultimate. I've got an uh, Ray, no ultimate. We decided to save those for offense just to make the, the match a little less frustrating because you don't want to save, uh, you don't want to uh, face uh, GLs on defense when you are doing a theme. Um, and the other thing we decided to do was uh, ships, uh, no changes over there, just uh, go with the usual uh, thing that we usually go for in ships. Um, and then on offense, uh, if you you could do solo if you want, but if you decided to go for two people on offense, then one of them has to be dark side, the other one has to be light side. So it's it has to be a clean split of dark side and light side on both offense and defense. And as you can imagine over here, this really uh, forces you to think outside of uh, the current way of thinking in three v three, which is what made it so exciting. And and uh, Sanoku was uh, was extremely. Uh, excited about this whole thing as well so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, like the defenses that we've set okay so going in let me briefly talk about my defenses as you can see over here um, it's been about three hours since the attack phase opened and Sunoku has already gone ahead and uh, cleared most of my board um, what I did was I set a really tough defense down south both the zones down south and a relatively easier uh, B team defense up north uh, let me show a little bit about what I did at the at the south. I went with um, um, so obviously since I couldn't keep the Darth Revan team together, given that uh, three of them uh, have to be split up, I kept the Darth Revan uh, with HK. There's plenty of synergy that HK has with Darth Revan as the lead, and then for the light side character over there, I kept T3M4. Given that T3M4 has got a lot of synergy with the uh, it's a lot of droid synergy with HK. It boosts his damage, can heal him up, uh, and so on and so forth. So that was the Darth Revan team. That was one shot. The Malak team was also one shot. I kept Malak with the uh, with the mission and Zalbar, which I've done in prior three v threes again. It's a leaderless team, but um, every time because uh, Malak is pure health, every time that he takes any damage at all and drops below, Zalbar ends up taunting, and then there's retribution, which happens over there. So I'm sure my opponent took something. Um, uh, something strong against that. Couple of battles against the Dooku and uh, Resistance Heroes team. So the reason I kept that team was, you know, Resistance Heroes are fast, 243 speed, 300 plus speed. They're going to go first, get inspired up, and uh, probably assist and uh, and apply buff immunity or stun on, on somebody. And at the same time, uh, Dooku is going to go ahead and hide himself. And what's going to happen is... Uh, uh, people, the the team, any team that you take on offense will be forced to attack the resistance heroes and they're going to end up countering given that they'll have inspired. And uh, if they do an EAV, all three of them end up countering because Dooku is, uh, is, is got a 100% counter chance as well with stun and ability block on his basic. So that team uh, caused a little problem, a couple of battles over there. And then down south, um, he told me he ran out of team so he wasn't able to clear any of this. I kept a really tough defense at the back. I kept uh, Newt with the 
with Duke, with the Nest Androidica, which is something I've been keeping a lot in this grand arena. Nothing new there. On the uh, uh, and then I kept Rebels, uh, CL, uh, I kept uh, Han and Chewie with Bosk. That's a team I've kept uh, once or twice in, in previous 3v3s as well. The goal over there is basically given, giving um, crit immunity to Bosk. Bosk is really fast, 300 something. He's going to go and start taunting immediately and he's going to have crit immunity. He's not going to be, he's going to be uh, immune to daze as well. And uh, you're going to have uh, CLS and Han uh, Han and Chewie at the back, uh, sniping everything behind a taunt, a permanent taunt like uh, like uh, um, uh, like Bosk over there. Um, and the, I kept a Grievous squad as well, just because it's uh, it's a really tough squad to take out, especially given the restrictions of two uh, LS one DS. Um, so you basically what you have over here is I have B two in there to um, to basically force the person to attack B2 first, but I also have a pre-taunter L3 out there who also has got synergy with uh, with B2. Uh, it's a droid, so you know uh, L3 sacrifice is gonna trigger Grievous, and at the same time, L3 can can heal uh, B2 as well, and anytime that you attack B2, L3 is gonna end up getting uh, tons of turn meter, and it's gonna end up uh, dispelling uh, or cleansing B2 as well. Um, so he hasn't attempted any of the th three teams down south. Uh, I, th I think uh, he's, he's run out of teams right now, um, but uh, did have one attempt against the Rex Fives and Watt team, so that's a really tough team as well. Um, if you keep that in the front, they'll uh, they'll have to take something really heavy against it, a top A meta team, um, because uh, uh, Watt is going to end up giving the taunting tech to Fives, and then um, um, and then uh, if he's a fast Watt, he's going to end up giving another tech to Rex as well, and you have to get through uh, Fives to to get to Rex, and uh, Fives is just going to gain tons of turn meter and tons of protection. It's just not you're just not going to be able to get him down. And all the while, Rex will be there behind sniping your whole team. So, um, so I think uh, this team held one battle, but I don't think my, my opponent has any other teams there. Um, they did uh, manage to clear my top zone. I had a General Kenobi, um, Jolie squad with the uh, uh, with Kylo Ren in there, the masked version. Which was taken out pretty easily, and then I had uh, um, a B one in there with Magna Guard, and then um, um, Stormtrooper Han as well. So that double tank, and at the same time you've got B one who's doing tons of AOE, healing up Magna Guard, and then um, just uh, uh, decimating your opponent. So B one is the main offense offense out there. I've kept a Basti EP team with Po, so I needed to keep a light side with Basti and EP. So Po is one of those light side characters who's got tons of debuffs. Can apply exposers, can apply um, uh, buff immunity. Um, so that was uh, the reason behind that synergy. But that team also was taken out in one shot. And then three battles against the um, the old Ben evasion team with the zombie and uh, Night Sister Spirit. My sister, my spirit is really fast, about two ninety something speed, built for offense, and getting four side all the time. That means she'll be every time that she evades, which will be quite a lot. She'll end up getting tons of turn meter as well with the old Ben lead. So that is a deceptively strong team to take as well. So three attempts over there. I was happy to see that. And at the back, I'd kept my General Kenobi negotiator instead of uh, Malevolence. And that uh, surprisingly had a couple of battles as well against it. Um, so that was also good to see. So that's the uh, so that's my, my own defense. Now on... Uh, defense my opponent has set uh, a few tough teams over here i think the toughest one over there is the rex 5s team with the um, b2 so i need to take out b2 first before going after fives and uh, and then finally rex uh, unless i get in days or something but even if i get in days rex is going to be able to give tenacity up and uh, and b2 is going to get cleansed so that is going to be a tough team there's a there's a thousand team with nest which might be tricky there's a newt squad um with the um, Stormtrooper Han, Relict of Stormtrooper Han. So that's going to be interesting. Um, and then down south, um, here we have a couple of really tough teams. He's kept his own uh, um, Re Rebel squad, which is Han and Chewie with the, with Boba in there. And Boba's lead gives 50% uh, critical damage and extra critical chance as well. So, that's, uh, so that means that the Han and Chewie are going to be hitting really, really hard. So I have to think what I want to take against that. Down south, they have a, a Padme squad with GK in there. So uh, so 
what is going to end up giving the taunting tech to GK, and it's going to get really difficult to to get GK down with the um, with all the um, the health and protection recovery. And then there's a Phasma squad with the with the light side character being uh, um, being Juhani out there. So two tanks and uh, relic up Phasma. So um, um, pretty survivable team. So um, I think I want to attack the bottom zone first. And um, and clear that, and I want to save some of my good teams uh, for the back. I obviously have Galactic Legend Ray, and uh, but I don't want to spend her in the front. Um, that's one um, one free wild card that I have that I can use against any really really tough defense. So at the back, if I see a Grievous or um, or a, or a Darth Revan or something like that, then I'll probably end up using uh, the uh, the Ray against that. But I want to try to take these teams down without using my Ray. So first, I want to take, uh, I want to go against the uh, the Padme team, and I think so. This team, this Padme team, has no damage. I mean, there's no Anakin in there, there's no um, Snips. Um, Padme obviously will get damage done with the uh, with Courage. So we need to do everything that we can to to uh, prevent Courage from uh, from landing on the board. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take in my Treya, isolate Kenobi because uh, what is going to give the Taunting tech to Kenobi right away, and then I'm going to uh, try to. I'm going to take a Nihilus as well. I'm going to try to dispel uh, with Nihilus's basic on Padme as much as I can to prevent Courage from building up, and uh, and then uh, try to annihilate uh, Padme whenever I get the chance because she's the main damage dealer uh, with Courage. Um, and once Kenobi is isolated, he's not going to have Courage, and uh, and that uh, that should get the job done. And for my light side characters, so the two dark side are Dark Treya and Nihilus. Light side, I'm going to take in Shakti just for some additional survivability, a cleanse. And uh, Shakti, just like Nihilus, can also dispel on the basics. So that should help with dispelling some of the courage and preventing um, um, uh, Padme from, uh, from getting too dangerous. So let's take this team in. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, so they're going to go first. And uh, what do I want to do? I think I want to hide uh, uh, Treya so that she doesn't get targeted by the stun. Oh no, she's... Uh, huh, okay, she had nasty up, so that was good. Okay, so let's get the cooldown reduced on uh, Nihilus. And let's get everyone's cooldown reduced over here. And let's keep working on Padme. All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's call Nihilus to assist so that he can dispel this. Mm, that didn't help. Okay, let's keep working on that. Let's keep dispelling dispelling courage whenever we can on uh, on uh, Padme. So there's no courage there. So let's dispel this. Okay, so there's the courage. Now we're going to do a basic over here and a lot of protection up. We're going to dispel that and keep doing that. Okay, so so far under control. Um, I'm going to, there's a little bit of protection up. I'm going to dispel it with the basic. I'm going to reduce the cooldown once again. All right, let's uh, annihilate Padme. And now the team is uh, is no danger at all. Let's uh, um, let's call uh, Nihilus to assist. Let's get rid of Watt Tambor. He's only G eleven, and now we just have to wait for the annihilate over here to come. Okay, so simple enough battle. Uh, I'm not going to bother about banners uh, as long as I one shot everything, or at least clear more zones than him. I should be fine. Um, yeah, the thing is with the going with this restriction, I doubt whether I'll be able to. Um, I doubt whether I'll be able to clear the board, but I just need to clear more than my opponent, and then I win. Okay, just have to wait for uh, an eyelid to come around. There, next turn we should be there. Let's uh, give this to Treya. And uh, let's do this. And there we go, Annihilate. 
All right, um, so we did manage to get full banners. So that's an advantage of having Shark T in there. Uh, managed to recover uh, full banners in there. So this is exciting stuff. You know, this is something different. It forces you to think in a different way from the regular 3v3. So um, I'm really excited about this. I'm glad that Sonoku, uh, uh, you know, gave me the chance to to try this out. So uh, let's uh, let's try to see what we can take against the others. Now this next team is going to be tough. Boba with the uh, Han and uh, Chewie, they're going to get really, really hard. So I need to get a team which is survivable. And I'm thinking of taking JKR with GMY in there. They're survivable because they get a free savior and uh, JKR can't be stunned. So hopefully uh, Han goes after him first. Uh, even if he goes after GMY, a savior might be triggered and, uh, and I'll get a free life. And I need to take down Chewie as soon as I can with Mark. Um, so that's that's going to be the goal. Um, and as a third character, I'll pro I probably need to take in uh, someone who can go in that under stealth. And the one of the strongest uh, hard eating characters that I can think of who can go under stealth uh, right from the beginning um, for dark side is going to be Spy. And Spy hits really hard as well. So he'll head help to to one shot uh, Chewy if uh, if that becomes necessary. So let's let's do that. Let's take in our Jedi Knight Revan, Grandmaster Yoda, and Spy. And Spy will go under stealth so he won't be targeted by Han or Chewie. Uh, there's a 50-50 chance whether Revan will be, will be targeted or Grandmaster Yoda, but we'll have to see what happens over here. Okay, so uh, JKR was targeted and he didn't get stunned, which is great. Um, and Savior also hasn't been triggered. So... Uh, let's uh, let's spread this around some debuffs. Okay, now Savior has been triggered, and we've gotten rid of Chewy, so that's good. And he's got strategic advantage, so these guys are not going to counter. I'm going to do this, and uh, can't spread any more buffs. But let's uh, let's just target down on Han since he's the main damage dealer. All right, so this is something I want to take. I may have been able to go with somebody else, maybe Spy as Overkill, but let's take a look at that. One X. He's got a few buffs on him. Han's got a few buffs to dispel as well. Let's see how much my five hits for. My spy hit for 97k. That was good to see. All right. So, so that is done. Let's spread some buffs around. And let's finish it off. Okay, 53 banners, I think. Um, all right. So spy probably might have been overkill over there. But I needed a character who would go into under stealth. And I can't think of many dark side characters who could do that. Okay, so what I want to take against the this squad. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think there's a feat with the with the CLS and uh, and Hermit Yoda. So I think I'll take that in against this because there's not much damage on this team, and Hermit Yoda and CLS both have tons of regeneration. And I can probably take in for my dark side character. I think I'll take in Scion given that Scion can uh, dispel as well. And he's a good tank to have around. Um, so let's just take this in. So it's a fast team. And they've got their taunt on, both their taunts. Um, I'm going to do a buff immunity over here. Um, and then I'm going to give this to Luke so that he can start uh, working on them. These guys do a lot with advantage. So it's good to have buff immunity on these guys as well as uh, as well as uh, uh, pain um, so that's that's why it was good to have scion over there to dispel everything i'm going to take down captain phasma first um, just so that uh, just because i think she's the main damage dealer the other two are just tanks um, let's do this and let's give this to scion Okay, so Phasma is down, and now uh, I can just stun her, and let's keep working down on Stormtrooper, and he's going to uh, counter a little bit, but that's fine, there's no damage on this team, so I think we should be fine. Okay, let's take this down, let's uh, heal up a little bit. Okay, let's dispel everything. Um, let's go after uh, this guy and stun him. Let's stun Juhani. Let's do that. 
And let's take out Juhani. And let's give a big heel to top it off, top everyone off. And now I think we are done. Okay, so 54 banners there. So we got through the front zone and we managed to save our Ray and Gas because we have both of those on offense. And yet, as predicted, there's the uh, the uh, Grievous squad, both R7, Grievous and uh, uh, B1. And there's a BB-8 in there as well. So that team is going to end up going really, really fast. I may have to save Ray for that. And look at here, we've got... Uh, Brood Alpha with an R7 mace. <laughs> this is really impressive. I think he must have done this for ships, but uh, R7 mace. Let's see how the stats look like. 75k health, 93k protection. That's really impressive. Let's see how hard he hits. I just wish they made mace's kit a little better because it's got so much potential. And then there's a Django over there with Hermit Yoda. Um, there's a Old Ben with the Hux. Um, and uh, and then we've got uh, BB-8 with the GG and B-1. That's actually a very uh, nice way to utilize a light side character into a into a general grievous squad. So let's uh, let's plan out how we want to take this zone out, and then we need to save something for the top as well, especially the the Rex uh, five team. Um, so let's uh, make a plan and then come back and uh, and tackle this zone. All right, let's proceed with our attack phase. Now the two toughest teams in this zone are gonna be the Grievous squad with both R7, uh, Grievous and B1. Um, and they're all gonna go first. So I think I'm gonna take my gas team over there with the Ahsoka for the Dispel. And if I can get a chance uh, to fracture with Thrawn, um, if he survives, I think that'll be great. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go in with these guys and see if, uh, they're able to get the steam down. So they're gonna go first. I think uh, my Thrawn might be faster than the Grievous. Great. Um, I am going to wait for the Fracture, pass the Sturmeter back to um, this guy. And let's apply a Daze. And let's get rid of him, okay. Excellent, now we got the Fracture ready. Ooh, <laughs> that didn't... Uh, Ended up not mattering. I should have probably uh, fractured uh, uh, B1. Taking out a lot of stacks. But with this, it's, uh, the problem is... Uh, yeah, the problem is this guy is not going to um, counter. Which means my team will uh, will get eradicated pretty fast. Okay, let's uh, let's try to at least get B1 down. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, we'll have to do something else against that. Maybe we take our uh, clones over there. Mm. Maybe Padme, I think Padme might uh, survive enough for that. Okay, let's try a Padme squad, but uh, in the dark side characters, let's see who I want to take in. Oh, you know what, maybe the sisters will be able to get the job done. The night sisters, maybe I should have taken them in right from the beginning. Yeah, I should have taken my night sisters over there. Mm, okay. Uh, let's take uh, a couple of sisters in and I'd, let's take Barrison over there for uh, a little extra survivability. Okay, let's get the plague going. Barris is gone, so that doesn't help. Um, okay, let's land a stun over here. Uh, stun has landed. Let's keep uh, going after Grievous. Let's get uh, both of them back. Let's keep working on that. So the Plague is doing a decent job over here of getting B1 down at least, which is great. And let's heal up. Hmm. So Daka did get uh, stunned, but uh, we managed to get her back. And she's got plenty of health. 
Yielding immunity is not good, but I think with plague we should be able to get uh, this one down. Let's keep going at her, at him. Four stacks. I think this should uh, this should get it done. Yeah. Okay. So yep. Uh, Badis is uh, practically an, a night sister. Um, she's she was quite popular with the, all the other night sister squads that we saw, uh, especially before the zombie rework. She's not used as much in uh, night sister squad these days, but with Daka she does give a little bit of survivability, so that uh, ends up helping a little bit. All right. So what do we want to take against uh, the next tougher squad is the Geonosian squad over here with the with an R7 mace who I don't think will be a much of a problem but Droidica over there is going to be a problem with the assist. Um, so I'm going to take my Padme squad over there with Wampa in there just to build up offense. Uh, with all the assists that Droidica and, uh, and Brood will have I don't think Padme and, and Anakin will die that quickly and Wampa should be tanky enough to survive a few of the hits especially since there's no fives in there and you should be able to uh, get um, you should be able to get uh, enough uh, damage built up okay let's dispel that droidica Ooh, almost got rid of uh, droidica uh, let's do a basic for now so padme survived that attack and looks like she's doing okay. We need a buff immunity to land here though. Let's do a basic. Okay, that guy is gone. And Mace also almost will go now. Yeah, these counters are doing a decent job. Let's heal up a little bit. Get rid of him. And now it's only Mace. Yeah, I think I needed a survivable team like this to get the job done. Because... Um, Yep, Wampa got the job done. I think the AoE from Wampa was more than enough to take care of the Droidica. All right, now what do we want to do against the the uh, the Sith Trooper? The Sith Squad is, yeah, this guy, Sith Trooper is R6, and he's going to be hitting extremely hard, yeah. That is going to be pretty problematic. Um, hmm, maybe I take my clones against that. Let's try that. Let's take my uh, Brood Alpha and, and uh, Echo and Arc Trooper. They've got Dispel, so um, so Ben's Taunt is not going to be an issue. Um, and they've got decent damage um, and assists. Okay, let's... Uh, why is there no... Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. There's no Brood Alpha because uh, the the... A uh, summon spot is taken up by Arc Trooper. Man, this sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's at least make full use of the Arc Trooper. Let's uh, heal up a little bit. And let's try to get rid of uh, Sith Trooper when we can. Let's, uh, okay, we got rid of that. Man, it completely missed me. I've never actually used these guys together. Okay, at least we got rid of uh, of uh, that guy, uh, Sith Trooper, who's the main damage dealer. So we can, we can clean it up with something else. Yeah, we can, uh, we can clean this up. That's not an issue. Okay, we'll come back to that. Um, yeah, missing up a couple of battles over here, messed up quite quite a lot, but I think as long as we clear, I should be fine. Uh, against this squad, I think I'm gonna take in my JTR with Probe Droid. That should be able to get uh, get through this team. Let's uh, push some turn meter back over here. And uh, let's try to get rid of uh, so he doesn't have ability block which is unfortunate but uh, 
hmm, what do I want to do? Um, should I just go after him and finish it off? Let's uh, let's actually take him out first. Okay, we caught a few exposers. Okay, that's good. Now let's do that. And now let's just finish him off. Maybe we should have just gone after him right at the beginning. All right, let's uh, get rid of uh, Boba now. And, uh, oh, that was Django actually, not Boba. Okay. So we managed to take care of that team. Um, what else do we want to do out here? Hmm. Um, let's see. Uh, against this uh, Night Sister squad, I think I'm going to take in my Django squad over there. And over here, obviously, even though it's an all bounty hunter team, there are two dark side characters, and Grief is a light side character. So I think these guys. Uh, can take care of the sister squad um, and nest. I think uh, these guys hit hard enough. So what I'm going to do is take care of Acolyte first so that I don't have to deal with uh, her revives. Land an ability block so that I don't have to deal with plague. And then uh, let's uh, let's get some let's actually everyone go and uh, and assist on, uh, on Talzin and get rid of her. Excellent. Now, let's uh, keep working on Nest. Oh, wow, that was a big hit. Yeah, Django really hits fast. So yeah, this team really wasn't much of an issue. I was expecting to have to work on Nest and reduce her uh, max health with Django's burning before I was able to get her down, but that was not much of an issue at all. Uh, now, the Newt squad, uh, what I want to do is I want to take my, my um, First Order and Hux against it. I need to be able to control the extortion and Ray is there for the big hits. So let's take this in. I think I'm going to be faster than most of them. So I'm going to stun Dooku first and then I'm going to pass this back to him and stun this guy next. And then let me see if I can't just take out Dooku in one big hit. Not yet. Um, yeah, he's now gone into stealth. That's unfortunate. Maybe I should have just gone after uh, Stormtrooper Han. Okay, let's keep the taunt on him. A lot of stun. Man, if only Dooku would have gone just at the beginning. Could have been great. But now these guys have got tons of speed. And I don't know if I'll be able to get through them. Mm. let's stun this guy yeah this is not going to go anywhere man Dooku teams can go out of control really really fast uh, let's do that yeah she's going to go yeah I'll probably have to back out from this I don't think this one is going anywhere Yeah, there's too much stuns over here. Okay, when we get a chance, we're going to back out and try something else against it. That's a problem. Going with the two light side and two dark side, uh, two light side and one uh, dark or the other way around, it really limits your options. If I had my third character, which is um, a first order officer or someone like that, um, or first order executioner, this would have been a, a really uh, easy team to clean up. But um, as it stands, it's probably going to be a timeout. I don't know if I'm even going to get a turn. <laughs> the stuns are just going to uh, take care of this. I might have to put it on airplane mode and back out. Yeah, I'll have to put it on airplane mode and back out. And then, man, if only that uh, Dooku was taken out in that first instant, then this team would have been so easily controlled. Okay, um, yeah, this is not going to go anywhere. Uh, 
uh, better put it on airplane mode okay so we just have to wait it out for two more minutes and then we should be uh, we should be able to go in with someone else Yeah, Newt and Dooku are a match made in heaven. You have to be able to power through them fast to be able to uh, get anything done with them. Hmm. Okay, so this is going to go on for a while. Okay, looks like we did manage to get a turn, so I'm going to get back in and uh, and back out from here and then take in something uh, to it afterwards. Let's try again. All right. Now, what do I what do I have that can uh, that can take that out? Uh, Hmm. Maybe how fast is this team? Two eighty two. So I think my Jedi squad might be able to get the job done. Hmm. Let's see, who else can I take in? I think I'm running low on dark side characters. Hmm, yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Mm. Let's do one thing, let's clear up the zone down below. Let's clean that up. Hug should be pretty easy to clean up. I think I can take my rebel squad with some good attackers in there and clean that up. Uh, let's see, who else do I want to take over there? Mm. Let's just take in these guys and somebody else from dark side. Mm, let's see. Maybe just Greedo, just for some extra damage. These guys should be able to do it. Okay, big stun. Uh, let's uh, reduce some turn meter over here. I don't want him taunting. Okay, so took care of that guy. Let's, let's just uh, finish off old Ben now. Okay, so this team is cleaned up. Now let's uh, go back over there and try to take care of the other teams out here. I'm definitely gonna use my ray against the, the clones over here. I don't think I have a choice. Um, wow, this is, uh, this is interesting stuff. What am I gonna do against the Vader squad? That's, that's gonna be really problematic. I should have probably saved my crew for that. Hmm, this might come down to a war of attrition. All right, let's do one thing. Let's try the Vader squad against this one over here. Mm, or do I want to use... All right, so we have very limited teams left and uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to clear everything, but let's uh, let's give it our best shot. So against this Vader squad, um, I need something with high tenacity. I think I still have my Basti team there. And I want to take in Dengar over there just to prevent... Uh, mission from going under stealth. Uh, Vader is going to go first because he's going to get tons of speed from my Jedi but I'm hoping that the tenacity from Basti lead will stop all of that, all of the uh, the dots. Um, all right looks like uh, he didn't go. Okay let's uh, land a buff immunity 
and this is excellent let's call uh, um, let's call basti to assist and apply a couldn't apply the uh, the ability block which was what I wanted but hopefully we should be able to get through Vader, Vader pretty quickly there we go now the dots don't matter and now we can just uh, work down on mission and yep let's just take care of uh, of uh, this guy and then we're done okay so this team is done um, now the newt squad is the one I'm really worried about that's something which uh, I'll have to see what uh, what I can take against that <clears throat> I don't know if I'll have enough damage for that <clears throat> if I can just get Dooku down then I think newt and the and stomped for Han can be taken care of pretty easily um, I want to see if I can go with this squad Problem is, I need something with buff immunity. Mm, okay, let's let's go in with this. See if I can't uh, use uh, the dots that are there to get uh, Dooku down. Um, so here I've got uh, this guy as my taunt. Nah, it's probably not going to work. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, a lot of stuns. <laughs> nope, this is probably not going to work. And Dooku gains tons of uh, health back, so that's uh, that's not going to go anywhere. A lot of protection back. Um, yeah, and that's a very tanky uh, Stormtrooper Han as well. So that's not going to work. Maybe I leave uh, Dooku at that much health yeah I think uh, I think I'll uh, I'll let Duke this guy die and leave Dooku at that much health oh it's regaining a lot of protection but I think preloading this team is fine because I want to be able to uh, to uh, target down Dooku somehow um, I've got a decent amount of offense left. Um, I'm saving my ray for the uh, for that squad, but let's see what else I can use over here. I need some high damage attackers to snipe these guys down. Um, let's go in with my rebels. See if these guys can't take a take a dark side attacker and uh, and finish the job um, at least uh, get Dooku down and then the others we can uh, we can get down pretty easily um, hmm let's take in this guy for the dispel let's see if we get a turn nope I should have probably gotten a Sarge for the dispel that would have been much better yeah, these guys are not going to go anywhere. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I need uh, I need Asajj for Dispel probably. And Dooku is regaining all his protection, so I need to be able to... Let's exit from here. And take some other team against that. I need something which can survive the stuns. Treya would have been perfect over here. Mm. What else can I take? What else can I take? Let me try a Sith squad. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I need something which can stun so maybe all right let's go in with our wets um, but who do we take in with the wets let's try let's try this team
okay so let's get rid of that and uh, let's do this to Dooku a lot of stuns Man, do I want to get the nuke down twice? Let's uh, let's keep going after him. Nope, tons of uh, stun. Ah, uh, no, these guys are not going to do anything. Man, this team is so strong. Can this guy do anything? Not at all. Let's get rid of that. Nope. <laughs> Come on. All right. So at least uh, Dooku has been one shot. I'm sorry, Newt. Uh, let's uh, let's keep going after this guy. Let's heal up. Uh, let's get rid of the extortion. Dodge. Mm, let's heal up. Let's see how much we can uh, get rid of this guy. I think we can easily clean this up. Dooku will be problematic, but I think we can clean this up. Let me at least try to get rid of... Uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, Asaj is healing up by herself. <clears throat> Let's see if I can land stun over there. Excellent. Dispel that. <clears throat> Avoid the AOE. No. Okay. Now we can just get some other teams to uh, to clean up uh, Dooku over there. If the newt was a little more geared, then we probably wouldn't have uh, have done that. Uh, let's see. What else do we want to take in? something with high damage i think i'm definitely going to take in uh, my droids c3po and r2 problem is which uh, which leader do i want to take with them maybe this guy for a healing immunity yep let's uh, let's take this in there's a stun as well we'll just have to power through uh, um Let's see, we'll just have to power through Dooku, I think. Let's land a Confuse on this guy. And let's do this. Let's land a Stun. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's, uh, let's try to get this guy down. Let's keep going after him. Land a stun. Excellent. That's fine. I think we can leave Dooku alone for now. And try to finish off this guy. And Dooku is, is terrible. <laughs> we can do an AoE because uh, uh, Sirius is under stealth. Yeah, this uh, this is taken care of now. Yeah, Dooku is uh, is really transformed as a character from what he was before. All right. So plenty of uh, plenty of uh, battles against that, but we stuck to our theme: two light side, one dark side, or two last uh, dark side, one light side, and we managed to eke out the victory. Not pretty at all, but things get really uh, challenging when uh, when you're limited on uh, on uh, faction synergy uh, all right so now against uh, this i'm just going to take my ray and uh, and try to clear it out um, ray shouldn't be a problem over here um, let's uh, keep working down on this guy And uh, once we get through fives, then we can uh, go after Rex. 
uh, yeah now our health is coming low our protection is coming low so we better get it uh, refilled okay fives is down uh, let's save the refill for now let's just take out um, Rex and now we just have to take care of battle droid now this is a ray which is modded for health and even then the uh, the amount of uh, damage that she's doing is is pretty uh, pretty awesome she was able to take down fives pretty comfortably without a, without an issue at all so a little bit of a struggle but i think we we only struggle against one team over here five battles there everything else was one shot everything in the front over here was one shot and at the back yeah a couple of teams we struggled against so Overall, I think uh, three teams that we had multiple battles against, which is fine. Um, and now let's just take care of the um, the finalizer, and then we should be done with uh, with this battle. So I've got my my uh, separatist squad over here, which I'm going to take these guys in. I don't think I'll require anything more, so I'm just going to take these guys in and try to uh, try to to get as much as I can. Okay. Now, over here, these guys are obviously going to go first. Finalizer squads are always very, uh, um, very fast. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is get rid of Kylo Ren unmasked ship first. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. And uh, let's, uh, yep, I think that should take care of it. Not yet almost uh, all right so this should take care of that ship now let's uh, let's take care of this guy I never really fought a finalizer before so that's uh, interesting to see all right let's uh, let's take care of uh, this ship over here And let's keep working on this one. Hyena Bomber is uh, always problematic, um, but uh, under a non-malevolence uh, fleet, it's really not much of a problem. Okay, so we should get that first taken care of. 64 banners there. Let's see how much we got. Probably uh, 2,400. 20, uh, probably around 2,400 is what uh, I estimate we got. 2394 yep so very ugly not very clean um, but we did manage to get the full clear with a constrained uh, offense um, and I think we set a, a little too tough a defense I think I could have gotten away with uh, with uh, not setting some of the teams that I had at the back because uh, uh, Sanoku was struggling against uh, my fives and Rex team the other three teams, I, I could have probably gone with something much easier. And then that would have helped me one shot the three teams that I had a problem with. So um, so that's it for now. I really enjoyed myself uh, playing against this, uh, this, this battle. These are the kind of uh, moments that I look forward to in Grand Arena. And a big uh, shout out to Sanoku. He did have a very uh, focused roster and uh, um, his uh, roster did not have as much depth as mine. So I know that he struggled uh, quite a lot more than me um, just because of that. So kudos to him for giving us his best effort and for, uh, you know, being a good sport and playing along with this uh, theme of mine. Um, he was gracious enough to record all of his uh, battles as well. So if you're curious to see how uh, my defense performed and what team Sanoku took against me, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, feel free to uh, check that out on Sanoku's channel. Um, really, uh, you know, big thanks to him for uh, for taking the trouble to record those battles. But this was a really enjoyable match, and uh, Sonoku reached out to me and said that he enjoyed uh, playing against me as well. So, uh, you know, all around a good game. Um, so, um, so that's it for now. Uh, thanks everyone for joining in for this team GAC. Um, I will catch you guys for the fourth and final week when uh, when we have our our next. Uh, battle in a couple of days. Hopefully I should have the ultimate on my ray by then. So it's going to be a, 
a whole new Ray that, that'll be kept on defense. For this week, I really didn't keep Ray on defense at all, all three days. Uh, the first couple of matches that I had, my opponent did not have uh, any GL. So that's why I kept my Ray on offense. And today, obviously, there was a theme, which is why I didn't do it. But next week uh, is going to be a different week. I'm going to have an ultimate Ray and hopefully things will uh, will get better. All right, so that's it for now. I will catch you guys in a couple of days. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.